Well, sh What's up, guys? Peace Sauce here, back at it again with another video. Uh, first off, I wanted to apologize for not having uploaded for a while, but hopefully this video makes up for it. So, um, today, I have a very special video. Uh, by the way, it's not sponsored by Alienware. I just got this, uh, and I thought I'd unbox it. It's a new laptop that I'm going to use. Uh, I got this myself, and it's not sponsored or anything, but uh, I just thought I'd unbox it. I also have this um, mouse from Alienware that I'm going to unbox too. Uh, but let's just, uh, actually, let's start with the mouse. You know what? Yeah, let's just start with the mouse. And then we will continue on with the laptop. So let's just put this aside for now. And I'm going to go ahead and open this mouse. So, this mouse is the 610M from Alienware. And um, it has um, some very interesting facts about it. So on the inside of this mouse, it has a, there's the lithium ion battery, Let me put the knife down. There's the lithium ion battery. That means it can be wireless. However, it can also be wired. Um, it, there is a cord that is, goes from the mouse to a USB cable and uh, you can plug it in so you can use it wired or wireless and when you use it wired it charges the battery it has uh, approximately 350 hours of battery life for a single charge and so it is very useful it's got seven buttons uh, so those are the the two main buttons here the middle mouse button and then there's two buttons uh, on this side of the mouse and also the uh, scroll wheel can click left and right so there are seven buttons. Um, there's also an eighth button right here. Uh, you probably can't see it because of the lighting, but there's a slight button right in, but right in front of the mouse wheel, um, the scroll wheel, and that allows you to change settings on this mouse. So the mouse, because it's an Alienware, can connect to the command center of Alienware, which you can get on any laptop, Alienware or not, but this one comes reinstalled with it. Um, and basically what that does means that if you connect anything that has Alienware on it, it, um, you can change all the settings like the RGB lighting or the DPI count. So DPI, or dots per inch, is how many pixels, uh, the cursor or mouse on your screen moves for every inch that you move the actual physical mouse. So this can go up to 16,000 DPI which means that it goes 16,000 dots um, for every inch that I move. And you can adjust this in the command center, and you can have at least up to six different profiles with different lightings and uh, DPI settings. So, uh, also, one last thing, the scroll wheel can go, f uh, you can adjust the scroll wheel sensitivity uh, on the bottom of the mouse there's a little switch that you can do go from like high to low and that means that for every like for every time that you scroll how much it scrolls down in actuality so yeah so it's pretty customizable it's a pretty nice looking mouse so let's just go ahead and open it all right just cut the tape just realize there's a there's a pull tab that you can use but um i much prefer the knife it's easier to use okay so let's just open it there we go. Pretty fancy packaging. Um, and so here's the mouse. Uh, let me just, uh, just pull it out. There we go. Uh, let's see, there's nothing else in the box. So it appears it's just back paneling. And this is just a cardboard. So we're just going to put that to the side. And so all the good stuff is in here. Okay. So, there's a little... I noticed this. a little cardboard little packaging. And just slides right out. And you can pull out. And, aha! There we go. Instruction booklet. This is the instruction manual. And then we have a card. A sort of Alienware business card that comes with every product. Um, so we have the mouse, which we'll set aside for now, and then we have these cables. So a micro USB, 
to uh, USB A um, cable that will connect the mouse. Um, and then this little thing just noticed. So this ah, this appears to be sort of docking station for the, the charger. So it's like a it's um it's an adapter from a US a micro USB which you probably can't see because of the lighting. But there there's a little channel in there with a micro USB port that fits with this thing. Um and that goes to a USB A type cable. So it's a pretty nice adapter. And then here's the mouse itself. There's a little little bit of plastic right here. And um what I like about this mouse is so uh usually with um usually with uh you know wireless mice there's a little uh sort of USB thumb drive that you have to plug into your uh laptop. And this has a little slot for it that just you just push in and it's like spring activated. So I push it out and then I can just pull it out easily. Uh well, easily as I can. It's a little bit finicky, but it's pretty nice. I like it. Uh, so here is the switch right here to adjust the the scroll wheel sensitivity, and you can see it started to light up. It's flashing the Alienware colors and the colors, which is pretty nice. Oh no, this is sorry. This is the power switch. You can see it goes from a red to a green. There's the thumb drive. Um, so this is the scroll wheel sensitivity. Interesting. All right, well, that's pretty nice. So you got two side buttons here and here. You got the scroll wheel, and then this is the button to change profiles. And as you can see right now, so you can scroll up and scroll down, press up, press down. And you can see right now there's nothing happening because I haven't programmed this yet. But it's a pretty interesting mouse. And uh, it's pretty nice. It feels pretty nice to use. And I like it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put this aside for now. And then we're going to get on to the good stuff. The laptop. Um, let me just put this aside for now. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. All right. And now let's open... Uh, this thing, this beast. So this is the Alienware M17 Mark III edition. So there were three versions of this M17. Uh, this is the more famous M15, which is exactly the same. It has the exact same specs. It's just the M17 is a 17-inch display, while the M15 is a 15-inch display. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. And then I'm going to talk to you through the specifications that I put on this. Okay. So as we open it, I'm going to talk you through it. So this is the M17. It has an i9 processor from Intel. It has a 2080 RTX graphics card from NVIDIA. It has uh, 32 gigabytes of dedicated WAM. It has uh, 2 terabytes of storage space. It's got a 60 hertz refresh rate 4K display and a RGB keyboard for uh, lighting up. So let's, let me just open this up. Hopefully I figure out how to open it. Um, it appears to open sort of in this fashion. You just push this, this little uh, handle in, and then I should be able to just sort of pull it out like that. Aha! There we go! Nice and fancy. There's the laptop. Pretty, pretty stylish. Okay, so it has some styrofoam padding so it doesn't get damaged in packaging. Um, what else? Aha! So here are the cables. This is the 
power supply right here. Oh, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty chunky. This is the uh, this charging cable. <laughs> it's kind of going to be a little bit annoying to hold up to uh, carry around. A little bit heavy. But, uh, I mean, it's not that bad. I can probably show this in my backpack pretty easily. Um, and here's the power cord. And then the uh, uh, charger. So let me just put that to the side for now. Just put that over here. Let's see here. Okay. Now, let's see if there's anything under this styrofoam padding. Okay. Let's see if I can pull this out. Hold on. Wait. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like I can pull it out without taking the laptop out, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um... This might get a little bit difficult. There's probably a way to do it that I'm not entirely understanding, but there we go. Here's the laptop. It's actually relatively light for a, the giant thickness. Well, it's not pretty. It's not that thick. It's it's pretty thin, um, and it's relatively light for uh, the size of it. See, it's got these uh, giant hexagon-shaped uh, vents, so it can let out air. Um, and then it has these, these vents on the, on the back, also hexagon shaped, uh, that, uh, blow out, that the fans blow out through. And then you have all these power ports. So you have an HDMI, you have a display port, uh, you have a USB-C port for charging. Uh, this is also a charging port, but this is the one with the power supply. And then this is, I believe, a Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt port. Um, and then on the side you have the Ethernet port. You have a USB-A, uh, aux cord for headphone usage, two more USB-A, and then an SD card slot for expanded storage. And I like the design actually. It's really, it's really nice. It's got this fan on the back that makes it look. Kind of futuristic. Um, and then it has this 17 with the Alienware logo. It's pretty nice. Okay, let's see what else is in this uh, for now. Uh, also, I noticed the speakers are right here in the front. Okay, let me just put that to the side for now. And then let's see what else do we have in here. So we have this little information packlet. Pack it uh, with a little bit of the history, and then some of the things you could subscribe to. And that goes right there. I accidentally fell out. Uh, this seems to be some sort of uh, package with maybe some information in it, probably. It's kind of hard to get out. Uh, I know. I'll be inventive. Uh, and then use this. There we go. Um. So kind of unmarked package with, aha, yes, okay, so here we go. So we have the M17 uh, sort of just information packets with all the different features and stuff. And here are some of the ports I walked you through already with the hexagon fan on the back. And then service tag, just to make sure that you know what this. Okay, then I have sort of a warranty and safety and regulations packet, which is pretty good if you want, if you want to know that. Uh, and that appears to be the entire box. So that's a pretty fancy box and pretty insane laptop. Here we go. It's really nice and uh, it's got a matte finish on the front, I just noticed. And a sort of glossy opening. So I'm going to clear this box and then we're going to open it up and see what it looks like from the inside. Okay, so just clear this out. For now, there we go. And let's open it up. So there it is. There it is on the inside. So you see it is uh, the um, lunar white version or the off-white version if you will. 
Uh, there's a little bit of plastic covering, which I'll take off later uh, for the screen. And it's got this keyboard. Now, this keyboard is actually one of the nicer keyboards I've felt um, in a laptop. It's got um, a pretty smooth uh, trackpad. However, the trackpad software is a little bit glitchy, which is unfortunate. Which is why this mouse is pretty nice, because uh, it works great. Uh, however, uh, it's got a sort of glass trackpad, which makes it feel really nice to the touch. Uh, so as you see from the side, it's got a very futuristic look with the panel on the back. And so it's actually a really nice laptop. I like it a lot. Uh, yeah. So there we go. There was the unboxing of this... Uh, M17 laptop and uh, the 610M mouse. Uh, there you are. All right. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe to 500 Studios for more videos and information on PSOS. Let's go PSOS. Back for a while, hopefully. More videos coming out soon. Uh, and other than that, I hope you have a great day. Stay safe. Bye -bye.